Hey, you guys. How are you? All right, I'm just going to double check that I am live in the right page. And then we'll get started. Now, I know some of you are working and all that good stuff, so if you're not able to catch it live, totally okay. Just pop back in this group anytime and check it out. Yep, I see I am here. Okay. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, I have a lot to say, and so I don't want to take up too much of your time. Um, <laughs> so hang in there with me. But I did want to give you all of the information, all of the details, and just kind of share my story, honestly, with all of this. And so, first of all, I just want to say that if you're in this group and I invited you to this group, I want to work with you, okay? That's why I invited you. And you can see in this group I keep it pretty small, okay, because... Honestly, I only want to work with people I like <laughs> and uh, if I invited you I honestly think that you have something to contribute and that you would be truly amazing at this um, My coach saw something in me before I started and if she hadn't reached out and asked me um, and sort of Planted that seed. I probably wouldn't have ever believed in myself enough to make that leap of faith um, but to be honest I wanted a community like she had and if you've seen any of my posts you know that she, that I had creeped on her page for like a long time <laughs> okay I stalked my coach for like two years um, and I will never forget this one day that she made um, a post and she was just talking about her team and the community and she was like you know how much she was just talking about how much she loved her team and loved her job and she was like we're gonna get jackets and like matching jackets and all this cool stuff and I was like that's cool. Like I want a matching jacket. <laughs> and so I still always tell her that story. I'm like, it was the post about the ma matching jackets. I wanted, I wanted a jacket. Um, so for whatever reason, you probably have, you know, sparked an interest too in this, that maybe it's something for you. And so I just want to share how I got started, um, with coaching. So, um, to be honest, I started this in possibly the busiest season of my life. Um, I had just moved fairly recently and so life was a little crazy not only did my family move um but i was pregnant at the same time so shortly after we moved um i had a newborn and a toddler and i was in a totally new place we had no family um we were just making friends and so i found myself in this place where i did need a community and i was also just selfishly wanting to get back in shape you know after having baby so i thought that's what i was getting into this for um and then it just turned out to be so much more honestly but here's why i decided to jump in and go all in with it okay one i wanted to stay accountable to the goals that i had for myself and just being healthy okay um and i knew that if i didn't have like this extra layer of accountability almost like putting myself out there and saying hey guys i'm doing this thing i knew i was going to like back off and like backslide <laughs> okay so i did it for accountability and i'm serious to this day it is honestly what gets me out of bed most mornings and why i stay accountable because it went from just being like oh i want to be healthy and this is my hobby to this is my job and then there was like this extra layer of that on top of it and once i started building my own community of people that were doing it with me i was accountable to them and so that's what i love about it it just keeps me healthy and keeps it fun um my other reason was income to be honest i was highly motivated by being able to bring in another source of income for our family because if you have or had a couple of kids in daycare <laughs> you know how expensive that is and to be honest with you whenever before we moved um the thought of having a second child we were really questioning because we honestly didn't know how we would afford it and we said well it's life is just going to suck we want to have a second child but i guess we'll never go out to eat we'll never go on vacations we'll never have fun with friends like that's the point that we were at financially and so um a lot changed whenever i decided to kind of get over myself <laughs> and say i'm willing to do this because of the freedoms that it will allow our family um i also had this long-term vision of now remember the stage of life i was in newborn life is crazy i was going back to work from um from maternity leave and starting coaching all at the same time i had this vision of like what if one day i wasn't always 
go, 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 go. Like, what if one day life could slow down enough to where I could actually enjoy my kids and have time for my family and little things like what if I had time to clean my house I mean it was that crazy and I'm sure many of you can relate but I loved my job but I hated the rat race (laughs) and to be honest that's what I felt like people would say oh how is life with two kids I'm like it's really good I just feel like I'm always on the go And I feel like I'm kind of in a rat race. And that was sort of wearing away at me. So I saw this vision. I said, what if I could bring in enough money and like one day maybe even just be able to stay home while Kennedy is still little. Um, Now I know that's not everyone's goal and that is totally fine because coaching looks different for everyone. Um, But you might have that why too. You might have that deep down. You might have college loans or student debt like looming over you. Or maybe you just have this big heart to help other people and it honestly has nothing to do with money for you. Um, Maybe for you you just want a hobby (laughs) and you just need a passion outside of your outside of your career and I think that's totally possible and okay that your career doesn't necessarily have to be like um your passion yes you love it you got into it for a reason but I believe that we can have other things that make us a well-rounded person so um to be honest guys when I started coaching I didn't have the time but I made the time and that was the one thing my husband said he's like where do you think you're gonna have time to do this like and I told him I said I will do it when I put the kids to bed and by golly that's what I did every night by 7 30 or 8 o'clock I was working my business because I saw what it could do for our family in the future if I just stuck with it and I knew it wasn't going to be an overnight success either but I was willing to stick it out because my coach had shared the vision of what was possible and I knew that if I worked hard and just did what she told me to do that I would be successful (laughs) and so now two and a half years later if for those of you that do know me personally um I am able to stay home during possibly the most stressful time ever um and I'm forever grateful for that um I am now as a coach making about half of what I was making as a teacher um but whenever you factor in daycare costs you could say I'm making a little more than half and then probably by the end of this year um when 2021 rolls around I will more than likely be matching my teaching income and so for me it was just time to make that make that jump because like I said, I want to slow down. I just want to spend time with my family. And this allows me to do both. It allows me to have that purpose and that passion, like for myself, where I fill my own cup. And every time she goes down for a nap, I'm like hustling and helping all the ladies. And then whenever she's awake and my kids are awake, we go have fun and we're just like living it up. And so anyway, that is a little bit of my story and how I got started in all of it and where I am now. So Um, I want to share with you a little bit about the company itself and how Beachbody actually got started. Um, I love their startup story. So if you don't know, um, Beachbody did not start as a network marketing um, company. They just started as a fitness company back in with many of the classics like, um, you know, P90X and all that stuff. It was probably even some older programs even before that. Um, But what they noticed was happening was that... um, the people who were doing these workout programs and back then it was on dvds they were starting to create these online communities and back then it was like um what do you call them like these like message threads right and they were creating message threads sharing their results and helping other people do the programs too so back then you could go online you could like google it and they would like they were sharing everything like hey here's what i'm eating you know sharing tips with their workouts and this was all completely spontaneous by people who were doing the programs so beachbody started thinking and was like this is awesome like we're almost these communities are forming and so they realized like they could turn this into something else and allow those people to be almost like affiliates you know affiliates of Beachbody and say hey you're doing the programs you're getting awesome results you're helping people why not share that in an affiliate way as a way to earn and so that was sort of the the turning tide of whenever they became a network marketing company um So now I want to tell you a little bit about some misconceptions that people have about being a coach. And maybe you're thinking these things too. (laughs) Um, One is that a lot of people think like, well, I have to be a professional. I'm not a professional. I know nothing about health and fitness. Um, I've had people tell me before, I don't, I don't want to create programs. And that's the good news. You're not creating anything. Um, Beachbody does all of the hard work for you. All of the programs and nutrition plans are created by professionals. And all we do is pass along the gift, honestly. Um, You as a coach just 
go through and use those programs yourself and in turn, you're able to pass along the information and help other people use it too. So it's not like you already have to have, uh, I have no background in health or fitness. Um, clearly I have a teaching background um, and I am a Southern girl through and through. And so nutrition was my biggie that I had to work on and that I've come a long way with. So trust me when I say, if anybody can learn and change their ways, if I can, you can, okay? <laughs> um, now, a lot of people also think, well, I don't have any results and I haven't even started my own journey or they tell me I'm just not motivated. I'm not consistent enough. So they're thinking like because they're not a product of it, they can't help others. OK, that's another misconception, because like I was telling you, I came into it because I wanted that accountability. So oftentimes I have coaches who will start because they're like, I want to stick with this. Um, and I'm like, then why don't you come in and start as a coach? You will start your own community right away and just start sharing what you're doing. And in doing that, inspiring others to take action too, okay? So it's not like you have to already have a physical transformation just by you sharing, hey, I'm starting this new thing, you know? Or, you know, in a lot of times it just starts with friends and family. Hey, I'm starting this thing. Do you wanna come do it with me? I know I did that um, when I first became a coach there was a friend, I'm sure you all have the, the friend that you talk about your like your weight with or your goals with or whatever. And um, we were always chit chatting about like, you know, our health and fitness and what we need to need to be doing. Um, and she was one of the first ones I reached out to. And I was like, I'm doing this challenge. Oh, by the way, this was before I became a coach. This was when I was just doing the challenge. Okay. I reached out to her because I was like, I need the buddy system. Like if I'm going to make these changes, I want someone doing it with me. She actually told me no, she didn't want to do it with me initially when I was just doing it as a challenger. But she did later join me <laughs> once I became a coach because she saw um, just how simple it was and it fits in with mom life and the busyness and all of that. So she did eventually join me. But um, so you might be wondering like, well, what do I share? Like one of my fears was that I was not sharing on social media and that um, you know, I only posted pictures of my kids and it was like maybe once a month, you know, I didn't share much to be honest. So what do you share? How do I get people to do this with me? Well, just be you. I mean, honestly, truly, it's, it, we overcomplicate it sometimes. Just be yourself, your quirky, weird self, and you will find the people who are your people. Um, I know that like, well, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh yeah, I was gonna say, keep it simple. Like a lot of times, don't overthink it. What are you eating today? Share it. Why are you working out today? Share it. What got you out of bed this morning and helped you push through? Share it. Like, it's just those little things of like helping others almost get inside your head and like what you think and how it helps hold you accountable. Okay. Um, in terms of sharing and social media and knowing how to get started building your business, I want to talk about a little bit about what the training looks like. So you're, you don't sign up as a coach and you're thrown to the wolves. Um, you're actually trained in a group. And so I run monthly training groups. Um, I also work with people one-on-one. -on -one. So when you join my team, I work with you one-on-one -on -one behind the scenes, text, mess, message, whatever to help you with your business. But you're also put into a group, a community, with our larger team, which includes me and also the other leaders on our team. So you're not only getting my value and, you know, experience as a coach, but you're getting all of the leaders on the team experience. Some of them who've been doing this for six, seven years, a long time. So you're, you're put into a group where we're giving you all the resources. We have the guide that just is like your kickoff guide. Like, what do I do first? Okay, we've got it like step by step. Everything is super simple. Um, what I work by every day is just a simple checklist. And so I work my business, um, worked when I started in one hour a day and it was just literally checking off that checklist. Now that one hour sometimes might be like, 15 minutes in the morning before work and I'm like, oh, I can do these couple of things real quick. Then it might be like, all right, right whenever um, I put the kids down, I finish off the checklist. You know, it might be broken up. So that hour looks different for everybody. Um, but like I said, I didn't have time, but I made the time. I knew I could carve out an hour of my day somewhere. And that's about the time that you'll need, okay? Until you start growing to, you know, if, if you're interested in building a large organization, then you can, of course, um, put in way more than that. And then outside of our team, you also are going to get trainings from Beachbody themselves. They host and 
so many groups on Facebook with so much value. We have our weekly national wake up call, which is like the tippity top leaders of the company, um, just sharing their value and information. And even I love that they even bring on brand new people and they're sharing, hey, this is working really well for me. So it doesn't always have to be these people that we think we can never reach or, you know, it's not attainable, but it's real people, okay, that have just come in and done the same things that you're aiming to do. Um, all right, so now you might be, well, oh yeah, let me talk a little bit about um, how you earn, because obviously that's a pretty common question. Okay, how do I make the money, right? So basically two ways. There's two main ways in, in the company and in, in the structure. One is straight commissions, and then the other is from your team and your team accruing volume, okay? Now, don't let the word team scare you off. Let me explain that. First, let me back up commissions, okay? So anytime that you set someone up to do a challenge with you, basically you're just setting them up with the same tools that you're using yourself. And so a lot of people say too, I don't wanna be salesy. And I said, I don't feel like I've ever like sold a thing. I mean, these are the things that like changed my life and made my mom life so much easier. I mean, I have like a convenient breakfast to take out the door with me every day. I have workouts that I can do at home with my kids. Like this changed everything for me. So whenever I'm able to set women up with those same tools and they're like, thank you, like this is what I've been looking for. I don't feel like I'm selling anything at all. But whenever you do, when you set them up with that same package that you got started with, you do earn a commission off of that, okay? So that's the first way. Um, and then the second way, like I said, with your team, um, your team doesn't necessarily, because you might be like, oh, I don't want to build a team. Some people come in and say that. That's okay. But what I mean by that is that some women who come with me, actually I sign up everyone right off the bat on my team um, because in the Beachbody world, it's basically the same price. Whether you decide to work the business or not, you can still utilize that discount and almost just be like, an affiliate in a way, maybe even like a hobby coach. I'll explain that in a minute. But I set everybody up that way initially because it's just easier. And then if they're like, nah, not for me, I don't want it anymore, super easy, okay? Um, but in doing that, whenever you have, like I have some gals who they love their supplements and they get it every month and they want that discount, they're a part of my team even though they don't work the business, if that makes sense, okay? All right, so. How do you get started? Okay, I'm about to wrap it up here. You guys are hanging in there. <laughs> um, how do you get started? First of all, if you're brand new and you've never even done a boot camp with me, then I would start out by setting you up in my boot camp and get you started doing it with me, and we'll just run it together. Okay, so you're gonna get the fitness and the nutrition programs that I was just sharing with you, plus your first month of supplements to use. You get a choice there. Um, and so, and your coach sign up is included, and that's all 160, and that's for the whole year. Okay, so that would be how you would get set up if you're like, okay, I need to do this, but I've never done this before. That would be your initial investment, 160. All right. Um, now, if you're already in my boot camp, then you've already signed up with that. And so you can sign up for a coach as a coach for free. Okay, there's no extra charge for you. You would just go in and sign up as a coach and they would reimburse you the sign up fee because you've already got your tools and your, your challenge pack. Okay, so it's essentially free. And then I would just put you in my training group next month and you would start sharing your journey. All right, now let's talk about the two types of coaches. I was saying that you, some people are just like a hobby or an affiliate coach, some are more of a business builder. So when I was sharing my story with you, I came in as a business builder. I was like, I want to build a significant income. I want to build a business um, that one day could match or replace a full-time income, okay? So that was my goal, but like I said, that's not everyone's goal. Um, so some people come in and they're like, I just wanna do this as a hobby. I just wanna not necessarily be held accountable to any standards. I just want to come in and do this, maybe help friends or family um, if they ask what I'm doing at a holiday gathering and then they're like, yes, I need help. You can sign someone up and you'll still earn that commission part. <clears throat> so you can still earn commissions um, you just don't get that that team side, that volume side that I was talking about, okay? So there are two ways that you can do it. Um, you don't have to go all in, but if you if that's your goal, then I know how to do that because that's what I've done, okay? Um, also, if you're more of an affiliate, if you're just like a hobby and like, I'm just going to set up my friends and whoever asks me with some products and things like that, you don't really need my one-on-one -on -one time either because you're not building a business. So my one-on-one -on -one time and trainings, that's really more so for people who are building a significant business, um, even if it's not to replace an income, but you're still like, 
tell me how to make the money, then that's what I'll do, okay? <laughs> All right, so let me end the call by just saying that, um, let me give you a little call to action now, okay? So I want you honestly just to think about it and pray about it. Um, talk to your significant other about it, your spouse, whoever that may be, because that's what I did. So I was in a group just like this before I got started too, and um, I was like, man, these women, I, I heard calls from multiple women, but I was like, they're just like me. Like, they're just normal. None of them were like anything special. They were mostly moms and um, they were just normal gals. They worked their full-time jobs and they had this thing that just like lit them up. And I was like, I want that. Um, and so I did, I talked to my husband, I prayed a lot about it. And um, he said, after he said <laughs> the part about, when do you think you're gonna have time for this? Um, he, then he just said, if this makes you happy and this is something you want to go for, I fully support you. And so um, after that, that is whenever I got started. I honestly didn't ask anyone else's opinion. I didn't ask friends. I didn't ask family because their opinion did not matter to me. Um, sometimes if you go down that rabbit hole, um, you may hear some things you don't want to hear. But this was important to me and that was all that mattered, that I had my spouse support um, and that I prayed about it and felt like I was making um, the right decision because because of what it had done for me. And I was like, I know there's so many other moms out there who are just like me and who just need this. And I want to share this. And so that was what helped me um, make that decision. So also think about um, a little bit about your vision. And you might just have to sit for a second and even think like, what would that be? Because I know honestly, before I started, I didn't really know what was possible. I had an inkling. And like I told you, I was really driven by the one little fleeting thought of what if one day I could stay home. Like, what if I could make enough money to help us financially, um, but I could also be present. And when they're sick, I'm there with them and I don't have to stress over, I've gotta find a sub and well, Kevin can't watch them because he has a meeting today and I really need to be at school because of such and such. And it was just that little thought, like what if life got a little bit simpler for a little while? What could it do for us? And so that little thought, my, my vision, think of, find yours, whatever it is, maybe, you know, in your heart, why, why you're here and just kind of lean into that. I know it's scary. I know it's uncomfortable. I felt the same way, but then whenever I finally made the decision, I was like, I'm going all in and left my comfort zone. I feel like honestly, that was when I truly found me <laughs> and truly found myself. And I've grown so much. I know a lot of people say, I can never do what you do. I'm so shy. I'm like, if you had seen me two and a half years ago, even still, I am a really shy person. I am. Um, and so, but you will be surprised at the confidence you will find in yourself in just doing something like this. So that's my call to action for you. Think about it, pray about it, find out why you really want to do this um, potentially. And then if it's something you're like, all right, this is on my heart, Diana. I think I'm ready for this. Then just send me a message. Um, we'll get you set up this weekend because my new coach training is going to start on Monday. So we're starting our new August one. And essentially what that would look like for you is that you would go into the training program. You would um, start your own fitness program, whether that's the brand new one that I'm doing, MBF, or another one of your choosing. And you would just start inviting people to do it with you. And like I did, whenever I told my friend I needed a buddy and I was like, I'm doing this challenge, come do it with me. <laughs> okay. So that's basically what it would look like for you too. So I hope that was helpful guys. And um, if you haven't checked out any of the other things, I've done some other videos in this group before. So go check it out. I've got some albums with different information, frequently asked questions, stuff like that. So go check it all out and I'll chat with you later. Bye guys.